Yeah, it's crazy fast. We're going to try to read chat, but like we make no promises. Yeah. So Cloth will be getting a safety item that I don't, and I, I don't know if Gooby does or not. We haven't talked about it. Um, so oh, yeah. Cloth's going to be getting... What? 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 Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, hello. Uh, First try. Easy every time. So <laughs> I'm Plop27. I'm Kumaru. I'm Count Gooby, otherwise known as Count Cheeto. And this is Super Metroid Project Base, which is a ROM hack of Super Metroid that boasts a whole lot of changes. Um, physics changes, graphics changes, and so on. And someone else can explain stuff while I do climb. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, you can uh, go into respin in this game after breaking out a spin. Uh, you can get instant bombs, that kind of thing. And speed stuff. booster is completely broken. And yeah, that once once you get speed booster, the game changes dramatically because it's completely broken. So some of us are probably going to be trying uh, what's called BT skip in a second. Oh, I'm in the door. Ah. Oh. Um, BT skip, you can use a new uh, backflip me mechanism, which basically gives you a damage boost uh, wherever you want it. Um, it allows you to very quickly move horizontally. It has no acceleration, most like, unlike most of the other things in this hack, or in this game, which do have acceleration. So it allows you to backflip out of Bomb Teresa's room before the door closes, and I'm going to go attempt it now. My climb was bad, so I have a bad time. Happened, so... So I messed you up were... BT skip as well. Don't worry, Kamar. If you were doing PB attempts and you missed BT skip, you'd be likely to reset at that point. Unless you're me, because I don't believe in resetting. Which uh, setup do you do for a... Uh, for the skip? Yeah. I mean, I just run up to him, and then after I'm done running up to him, I crouch and then backflip through. Gotcha. There is a buffer. If Yeah, I could show you how to do. That makes that a bit Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, I would love show to you after that. this run. <laughs> so do it in between this and Shaq Fu. Yeah, I could if you wanted. So the beginning of the game is pretty much going to be the same as it is in, um, uh, where we got morph and bombs and missiles, and uh, we're going to do early super missiles. Um, so we won't see spore spawn. I'm sorry if you are a huge spore spawn fan. Um, I know I am. But then Sports there's going to be a big love. change that Gooby's probably coming up on right now, where we're going to do power bombs first. Yep. Um, yeah. So is... backflipping is real weird. Um, the hitbox is funky, and you are considered falling when you're falling. And because of that, if you sort of backflip into a crumble block, you will break it from underneath, which allows us to sort of get into the back door of some areas, most notably uh, an area where we can get power bombs super early. Um, which saves a lot of time. We like time saves. Press one if you like time saving. <laughs> and before so someone in chat types in two. Oh, it's gonna happen. That's just a rule of life. I I'm would go do it right now, except I'm busy. <laughs> 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 So I went down there to get something called cave items. That just is for some extra safety. Yeah, uh, I noticed you have a yeah. yeah, you can get super missiles and an E-tank down there, which is really nice. Um, yeah. I'm tempted to get the uh, high jump E-tank for more safety, but yeah, I might not. Safety is nice. I'm I'm skipping my safety E-Tank, so Ploff gets the high jump E-Tank as a safety, and I get that in the normal run. Um, and I would get the uh, the one right after missiles as a safety, but, and then the, the high jump in my normal run. So it's a, yeah. a bit of a bit of a divergence there, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's about the same time for both. Yeah, it's because we have different routes coming out of wave beam is what makes the difference there. Oh my yeah, god. This hack is really cool because there's a lot of different strats you can take in it. There's a lot of different routes that can be pretty viable. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh man. Ooh. Also, uh, White Waking, what's up? So here I'm going to be taking a safety save, especially because I'm on low health. 
normally you wouldn't break this tube at all. But I'm a pansy. I'm taking a safety save before Ridley and then one before Mother Brain because there's a chance that I'll get like six onion rings and two insta ketchups and just get destroyed by Mother Brain. All of Mother Brain's attacks, Ridley. and we'll go over this later um, for those who don't know, all of Mother Brain's attacks are fast food items. No! Oh, yeah. I fell in Craig's lair. Happens. Did, did you die? No, I didn't die. I just fell. If you fall in that river, you just have to waste a bunch of time jumping back up, and it's shame. The ultimate oh, shame. Oh, the, the one, the entrance? Yeah, yeah, by um, mouth to mouth. You know, I have a strat for that room that I just completely did not even, like, do at all. <laughs> <laughs> that also happens sometimes. Sometimes your brain just is like, no, I'm not going to do a strat. You're just, okay, I guess, brain. So here I'm using pseudo screw to get through this room in a cheap and easy way. Oh, good thing I took the safety. I ran into a mini grade. Oh, oh my God, Kamaru, called... don't die. No, <laughs> I did, I did. You died? Yeah, so if you run to the mini grades, oh. they do 100 damage. And then the spikes in that area, they do 60 damage, which is why Kamaru took the tube save. Yeah, that's called the stealing bread, which is, it became like a project base inside joke because the runner stealing bread would do that often at that section of the game. That's the stealing bread. That guy's way better than me. Well, He's you get awesome to guy. see my mouth to mouth strat where I farm this this one guy. I mean, oh, I I'm now ahead of tomorrow, so. So Ploff and I have a little bit of a rivalry. Um, today we both PB'd and yep. Oh, like within 20 minutes of yeah. each other PBing. Within and... 20 minutes of each other, we PB'd. I thought I bopped him, but then he was like, actually, just kidding. No, you didn't. It was, it was the most incredible speedrunning emotional roller coaster I've ever been on. It's hilarious. That is hilarious. The other thing is, my PB was unrecorded because I was just like, I'll do a random practice run for this race today. And then I PB'd by like almost a full minute. So that's exciting. Yep, I know that feel though. I've done that same thing. Mm -hmm. So these two hooligans just got speed booster, which makes the game like completely different. Um, and, the, and the whole game is now all about just doing crazy speed booster stuff. Uh, so make sure to watch much. all that fun, fun, crazy stuff. Because in project base, speed booster is completely, absolutely broken. So yeah. speed booster takes less distance to charge in this hack than in vanilla. Um, and because you maintain momentum on landing, um, you can chain it you can chain your charge so like you can charge a little bit on a short platform jump spin turn around and then keep charging and you'll keep going uh you can also if you hit a slope you can keep all of your speed while you're shine sparking uh spark shine sparking being going across uh, in a very straight line and by hitting slopes like that you can do some really cool stuff that i'm going to try to show off okay i basically got the slope speed through kath that's more or less how that's supposed to be done nice lightning speeds uh, i am gonna take the safety e tank at high jump just in case because i um, i don't want to pull an oats and goats and die in a marathon run so one thing you, you might notice us do with oh uh, speed God. booster is we will um we'll shine spark and then um like we'll hit a slope and start running and we do that on purpose because it's faster than just shine sparking for some magical reason yeah, it's faster than normal blue suit running. Also, I got the uh, the blue suit into Ice Palace again. Been getting better at that trick. Sure. Absolutely. All right, we've got an anom anonymous fifty dollar donation saying, "Hey y'all, I'm making oh. this donation on behalf of my grandma Pat. She says good luck to all the runners and everyone have a great holiday. Thanks, grandma. Oh, thank, thank you, you grandma. so much. You too." I just got Ice Beam onto. Nice. We're going to be doing Gooby's probably. Yeah, Gooby's already like halfway through it. There's a section um, where we dip into Meridia, the water level, on our way up to the wrecked ship. Uh, normally, this would be really difficult because we don't have the gravity suit, which. Uh, that's fine. Because we don't have the gravity suit. I can't jump up the gap right now. Okay, it's fine. We don't have the gravity suit, which will negate the awful water physics that we have to deal with. But we have something better than gravity suit. We have speed booster. So <laughs> instead, we're just going to spark through everything because actually collecting the items you're supposed to have is for squares. Have you been like waiting to say that line? 
Yes. <laughs> I love that line so much. I'm pretty sure all of us here are uh, not squares. We're all circles because we're around. You know, I'll be around. My entire motto for restreaming this event is I'll be around. Yeah. The number of times I've said that in various like restreamer chats is just so many. <laughs> That's the uh, reason why it's like, don't be squares because you're a circle, you're around. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? Eh? Oh my goodness. Also, no! <laughs> Guess who fell down, Cassius? Oh no. It was me. Happens. I'd like to interrupt these highly intellectual puns uh, with a quick plug. <laughs> uh, so the next incentive is actually for this race. There's a bid war for save or kill the animals. And save the animals is currently in the lead. Well, that's good. I'm I'm on yeah. team save, so absolutely. Imagine donating for an incentive that removes content. <laughs> this yeah. meme brought to you by the Animals Gang. <laughs> that well, being if, said, anybody, if anybody disagrees with Kramaru here, then I would say uh, get your donations in within the next, what, probably uh, 10 minutes? Yeah, about 10 minutes or so, 10 to 15. Please either disagree with me or really agree with me so much that you want to donate more. <laughs> So you gotta, so. you gotta keep the uh, the save lead strong from the the filthy. I almost said filthy animals, <laughs> from from the <laughs> the filthy speed people that want to do things fast instead of doing things fun. Speed people. <laughs> These speedrunner people. No one saw that. No one saw so what. Nothing happened. What happened? Nothing <laughs> Just followed the water outside of <laughs> ship like an idiot. I bobbed out oh, of the no. water. And then I fell in the water like a fool. All right, I'm gonna go for Rekos. Yeah. Good luck. I did not get it. All right, never mind. No, 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 I'm falling. That's the marathon tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Coming yep. for Rekos and missing it. Yep. I got the uh, the shine spark in the room that I said that I never get the shine spark in earlier today, and then yeah. I fell down that room about like five platforms. Oof. So yeah, Kamaru is now doing the joyous thing that happens if you mess up the water shine sparking and you just have to do a whole bunch of water physics platforming and it's awful. Although it's better than it is in vanilla because in it Project is better Base, than vanilla. in Project Base, it's actually possible, so. Yeah, you can actually yeah. wall jump and gain height and other stuff. It's wonderful. There are lots of changes that I think made this game a lot better casually and just in general. There are lots yeah. of things to not like about Project Base, but I like a lot of the things about Project Base. I think one of the big things for casual play is that you have the full map of the game now. Yeah, that helps a lot yeah. too. I got a slow on Fantoon, oof. Happens. Yeah, I think I got a medium or slow. It's never a fast. Yep. Fantoon, right, Fantoon has three patterns, a slow pattern, a medium pattern, and a fast pattern. The fast pattern is the fastest. Uh, and anything that isn't that is is not good. It's totally random, so. All right, I'm going to cut in one more time to say that we still have a three-way tie for the uh, F-Zero car bid war. Uh, so they're all at zero dollars. So if you want to influence what car uh, Goob ends up using, uh, get yep. those donations in. Thanks for the luck, Begrimed. Begrimed yeah. is the guy that made this hack. Oh, yeah. Sub and thank you for doing so. It is awesome. Oh, oh man. In which I crack oh every goodness. joint in my body during like the three cutscenes in this game. I just messed up a shine spark like three times or four times in a row. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> happens. If you enjoy uh, Super Metroid hacking, though, definitely check out the Crimed. He also um, he made the engine for a hack called Hyper Metroid. He uses this yes. engine. It's pretty cool. Yes, uh, Project Base was originally designed, I don't know if we mentioned this, it was designed to be like the base for a bunch of other hacks. So, and it's actually really useful as someone that's like looked into ROM hacking herself. Um, yeah. There's versions of Project Base that's like, this is just the physics updates. This is just the graphics updates and stuff like that, um, which is really useful if you're interested in hacking this game. And also like this hack, like Project Base itself is also just really fun to play. So, oh yeah. Things feel really okay. good in it. I intentionally bonk on that door there. That was on purpose. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> <Just a> trap. 
<laughs> it nice. was. It makes the mock ball of that extra easier that I messed up. All right, the real yeah. hardest strat. I skipped the missile. Yay! Let's Yay! go. <laughs> Shout outs to not getting moat missiles. Let's go. Can we get a clap for Kamaro? Hold on, we got a. I used to get that as a safety, and now I want to skip it entirely because it costs a little bit of time. A very, it's really nice. Um, project base, uh, learning this run. If you've run Super Metroid, you can pretty much run Project Base, and there's mm -hmm. enough safeties that actually cost like three seconds. Yeah, there's oh lots my of goodness. ways that you can just easily grab extra safety items, which also, is very nice tomorrow, for marathons and stuff. Tomorrow in GT Classic, we get to tickle that fish if we meet the incentive instead of freezing him. Y'all better donate to tickle the fish. Tickling him. I enjoy tickling. All right, enjoy... enter Dragon. Yeah. Good luck. I enjoy consensual tickling. Yeah. Make sure you ask first. That is that is true. There's some yeah. Ugh. This is my galaxy brain crash into this spot very slightly earlier strat. Oh yeah. Kamara was talking to me about that just before the race. You can bonk slightly early. Oh yeah, backdoor happened and none of us talked about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing That's it right fine. now. <laughs> That's fine. Basically, oh you shoot God. that Three super swoops. missile. Four um, swoops. Don't do me like you this You shoot right that super missile just... very like to hit a block that's off screen um and you scroll it on screen by shine sparking up and right at the same time and otherwise yeah. the super missile would just go off the screen so we just break yeah. the protection that stops you from doing that it lets us get space jump before fighting dragon and also just enter dragon we, from the back door which is a more direct jump. route i mean i don't know it's useful sometimes well i mean not in the dragon fight <laughs> oh yeah not really <laughs> I use it for, like, a, for Fire Flea tank and probably some other places I'm not thinking Oh, of. yeah. And especially with um, keeping momentum on things. Eh? Yeah, it's, it's, absolutely. It's very powerful um, with uh, Project Base's broken speed. Oh, my goodness. I got gooped twice. Gooped? I got gooped. <laughs> the goob, dude. <laughs> How many swoops did you get, Kamaro? Were you counting? No, I wasn't because I got okay. gooped a bunch of times. Normally, you can swoop anywhere between zero and six times between the goop phases, um, and zero is best, and six yeah. is bad. I got four, which is not great. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're is. if you're good, you can get two shots off during the swoops. Yes, I usually only get one. Yeah, it's kind of tough to get the good. second one in there. It's it's a real tight thing, especially with move. Yeah, with Moonwalk, it can be tricky. Yeah, we have Moonwalk on because it allows us to do Moonfalls. Mm. Which and saves moonfalls us. Moonfalls allows us like, to save time. Yeah. And with a very special Shine Spark at the end, it saves us a bunch. Like, oh, 10 man. seconds. Yeah, which is pretty huge in the sacks. Yeah. A nice thing about this hack is that the run is really short because of all the stuff yeah. that you can do that you can't do in vanilla. Like, sub 40 is pretty easy in this hack if you, like, know what you're doing in the game. And that's especially refreshing for me because I, like, run 100% in vanilla, which takes, like, 90 minutes if you're good, and I'm not. So, like, it's nice. In a way, we've all beaten Zos' time, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is all... That's what that means. We're all faster than Zos. All faster. You're gonna tweet him and tell him that. Yeah. <laughs> when I uh, first started running this game, that's what my friends would tell me. It's like, hey, you beat Zos <laughs> time away. It's like, well, sort of, but not really. <laughs> it counts. Yeah. There Here you go. see me shoot these key hunters with plasma beams. That way they don't damage me when I touch them because they do like 50 damage. But it also, that uh, mechanic of the game allows you to do um, some really cool Shine Spark stuff later on. Um, which I honestly think is a, it's a lot cooler but harder to do in vanilla. Um, yeah. Like, what kind of strats? I'm confused. Uh, so, like, in vanilla, on the way out from Ridley, um, where you do the, the short charge into the mock ball with the Disgigas. 
Which Giga? Disc Giga. Well, I'm actually not at it yet, so I can't say that, but... Which Giga? Disc, disc Giga. I did a weird strat through these rooms, but it's fine. All right, time to die to Ridley. Oh, heck, I forgot to take the save. Welp. <laughs> I'm gonna I just took, I don't die. I just took extra God. time to kill all the key hunters and then went into the save room, and now I'm not gonna get the benefits. <laughs> I well, we kill the key hunters, fight. or at least we try to, because it reduces lag when we lay down power rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, we call the room the Three Musketeers room, because there's the three key hunters. You could also uh, shoot past them and kind of keep some bits, just enough invincibility to get through them. Oh god. Well, the Three Musketeers is on the entrance. Oh, are you, are you talking a different room? The one with yeah. the save. Oh, my bad. I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I'm thinking a different spot. Whew. Okay, Ridley was kind of obnoxious for that fight, but we survived. <laughs> that was a bit nice. scary because I forgot to take the save. I mean, I haven't died to Ridley in a while, but it's still a bit frightening. You had this. Easy. Easy. In the bag. All right, now there's the second Missiles of Shame that I'm probably going to end up picking up. Don't call them Missiles no. of Shame. Call them Missiles of Safety. Call them Missiles <laughs> of Swag. True. I'm going to moonwalk into them. And there they are. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'm, I'm making my way to the final area of the game. Uh, see, I just have to wait for this statue to just go down, and then we can begin it. I'm face. going to the statue. Nice. nice. I also have, like, no supers. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not Snorf, but thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, I only have three supers here going into the final area, which is kind of bad, but it's uh, fine. Yeah, I have enough missiles, all the, I'll be uh, okay. You can get, you get all the safety missiles. <gasps> oh, yeah, my goodness! So no! Oh! Oh my goodness! I had a shine spark oh. off the thing before grapple, and then I wasted it. Happy Oof! Though. I'm sorry. I get very. Doesn't make you feel any better? Spark. I lost my speed in uh, the room where you get spazer. You know the one. I don't remember what it's called. You can keep your speed into that room, but I messed it up. Oh, like at the bottom of Red Tower. Yeah! 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 No. I also gooped the spark at the top of Red Tower. So, so gooping a spark, for those who don't know, is when you mean to shine spark to the side and you shine spark straight up instead. Yep. Um, and that's after Goop Q who did that. There is a wonderful emote called Goop Spark. And it's it's just Samus sparking upwards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think any of us have kojacked this run, so that's good. That's the other thing that's named after a person for making a mistake. Cojacting is when you fire a super missile into a wall instead of not firing it into a wall. And it's not like Kojak would do it frequently. <laughs> no, just, it just, just happened from one like clip, once. Um, where he, he fired like three or four supers into a wall. Oh, that's good. We have good memes. I like to call that. Oh, I forgot trick, to do uh... the strat that I discovered. Oh. Dang. Dang happens though. Oh my <laughs> happens. goodness. You ever try and down grab on, you know, on a jump and you miss it, so you jump again and you fail the down grab like six times in a row? <laughs> yep. Every <laughs> you're just like You're just like yep. trying to jump on this one platform and save like two frames, but you just can't do it. So a, da a down grab is a movement technique where you jump uh, straight up and then you point uh, down and Samus, is, Samus will pick her feet up and she'll be able to land a little bit early. And it saves yeah. a very small amount of time. And it also lets you do some jumps that you normally can't. Yes. Uh, Gooby's on Mother Brain. Do we want to call safe kill sometime soon? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably probably when Gooby gets to Mother Brain 3. Dang it. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> yeah, I hear the gate rights beam. <laughs> Almost. Got All right, are we calling it then? Uh, yeah, this would be a good time 
around to call it. Well then, we are going to save the animals. All right. We can always let's call go. it her runner. Oh, that's Wait, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Cool. We're gonna get there at separate times. If you want to make any last-minute donations, take this. If you want, are you are you just really just like animals? Then uh, that is also an option. What I attempted to do there on the Mother Brain fight was go for a glitch called uh, Stand Up Spark, which would make this fight about 20 seconds faster. Did not get it, unfortunately, which happens. Uh, we could still get through the fight. It makes it actually a little bit more consistent, because if I were to get it, there would be two potential soft locks I'd have to worry about. Well, one soft lock, and then um, one that would. one like weird glitch that would lose me about a minute or so. Uh, yeah. There's one that, uh, if I misplace where the baby is, then uh, the mother brain will just keep firing just shots, and um, yeah, you just get stuck there forever. Or there's one where um, it just like gets really slowed down for some reason, the graphics get all weird, and it takes a minute for it to be all good again. Yeah, that happened to me once. I think it has to do with something weird in Samus's state when you get the gay rights beam. Um, and like, I, my game, I timed it, it lagged out for five full minutes before calming yeah. down. It's weird. It's different for everyone's game, too. Like, I've had it, it's only been a minute, but yeah, it's weird. Oh my god. I'm I'm choking on stand up or on not on stand up. I'm choking on Zeb skip. Hey, me too. Uh, it happens, <laughs> though. It's called a uh, mash your face through walls. I like to call it. Yeah. Because that's pretty oh much God. how you do that glitch. You just kind of shoot the the onion ring below and keep mashing your it's face. It's a spaghettio it. onion ring. Oh wow. You know what? You're right though. It is. It does look like a spaghettio. Pop, I think we're on the same pace, aren't we? Then aren't. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I finally oh, yeah. got it. Holy heck. Took forever. The rivalry continues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this rivalry a lot that's going on. So... There we go. Gotta get the animals. Don't worry, one of us is gonna die to Mother Brain. Oh, I hope not. I lost, I lost count like because I messed up so many uh... charge knots. <laughs> Which is really important, because I gotta remember to count to 15. <laughs> Be free, animals. Go forth. Alright, time is coming up oh, for no. me. And... Time. <laughs> I messed up the... Um, stand up. And now I'm in a really weird spot. Okay. Um, I really hope it doesn't uh... softlock. So, thanks, uh, Live Split, for deciding to stop two out of three uh, <laughs> splits on that one. Oh no. I'll take the 3057, easy. Right click control undo on plofs, it should, it should keep hers going. Maybe. Also, Kamaru, I think you're too far to the left. I think you might be soft locked. Well, yeah, I didn't even oh. get to do stand up. This was from the Shine Wait. Spark. What? Wait, so, so, you... so weird stuff can happen when you spark the corner. You can get, if you no, like mess up I'm the good. spark in a particular way, We're good. Well, the We're baby will find you. The... No, <laughs> I don't no, know no, Mother Brain's, brain's, mother brain's hitting the baby. Okay, that's good. Okay, that, yeah, that is good. If Mother Brain wasn't in the baby, that would be uh, a little that, that would, sweaty. That, that would be a soft block. Yeah, <laughs> so it, would be, it, would have, it would have taken a couple, like maybe one, one more block. Yeah, you need to be further to the left. Okay, we've got that fixed. Thanks, live split. And it's gonna come down to like escape. Oh I nope, now live split is I. glitching out again. That's a thirty fifty one, I think. Oh, okay. Thirty fifty one to my end? Yes. Or... Okay, awesome. Uh, Kamara's doing the strat where he jumps into Mother Brain's face with the uh, hyper beam. I it's just the best one. Um, 
the reason I do it is because it creates less lag, but you also are more likely to miss a shot, which sucks when you miss a shot. So don't miss. Yeah. yeah. I just like being lazy, so I just stand in the corner and angle up and shoot. The closer you are to Mother Brain's face, the faster your shots will also hit her in the head, so then, uh, yeah, it just saves you like a tiny bit of time. Yeah. So here I'm gonna see if I can use Moonfall to do something. We're killing, right? No, we're saving. Save, yeah. yeah. And I got it. Nice. Oh man, I messed up the moonfall. Let's go animals! <laughs> I enjoy some animals. I hope you in chat like animals. Press one if you enjoy saving the animals. Oh no, I messed up the oh. human spark. Oh, oh no, I messed it up again. <laughs> No! <laughs> it's fine. Nope. Everything's fine. Nothing Fluff, happened. You got, the, awesome. you, got, you got the Moonfall Shine Spark. Or did you Shine Spark after? I, I just saw you going up. Yeah. I just charged at the bottom. All right. Time is going to be coming up pretty soon for me. And time. GG. Thank you. Also GG to you, Gooby. Thank you. That was a 34-17. Oh, okay. That's not bad, especially with a death. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be like a high 34, I think. Which, with saving the animals, is like not terrible. Yeah. My VB is like a 32, 40 something, so. Alright, I'm not gonna good. bother switching audio then. Time's I'm coming it. up. Time. GG. Sorry, that was a bit quick. GG. <laughs> GG's all around. It's like a 34, 50. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was really fun. Ugh. Well, oh, God. No, but nothing you... amazingly terrible happened. Yeah. This hack is really fun. We have a Discord. Uh, you should all totally. All loved it. our amazing commentary um, and the three of us <laughs> racing together and memes. Uh, uh, next up is going to be We Love Katamari with uh, Garby the Glitterous. And then after that, us three are going to be running Shaq Fu in a race as well. Shaq wow, is a way to just game skip over F Zero with our current I'm race sorry, winner. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the schedule <laughs> for me for some reason. Oh, you know what? I skipped over it because it was highlighted in green. So Gooby yeah. is going to be doing F Zero. So I we've got worried. a couple runs, but we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried that it like got deleted from it or something. Like, oh no. <laughs> we would never. No, it was yeah. it was highlighted in green because it's the current one on the schedule. Right. And I yeah. thought, I, I thought ours was the current one on the schedule. Yeah. It's all right. We'll get the schedule fixed. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for running. Uh, we will be right back with uh, with Goob again for F Zero. Yup.